1998 Catrum Super 7 on the S Reg. One family owned, owner from you. So owned by the same family, father then daughter. The father ordered the car and bought the car in 1998. Uh, and then it was passed down to the daughter. Very, very pretty colours in primrose yellow with the British gracing green nose cone and stripe. It's an 1800 petrol injection engine, this one. And arguably one of the best ones we've seen. That's for sure, especially with the colours, with the spec. The fact that it's one family owner, it's two owners, father then daughter. It's a lovely story behind that as well. We've also got brand new in the bag, the half doors without the windows. We haven't opened those because they're brand new in the bag. It's got all the wet weather gear with it, the full, the full cover with the windows, also the full tonneau as well. If you check the website, James has just taken a load of photos with all those bits on. Bodywork wise, we're going to start off at the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior in the engine bay, and we'll go for an engine start up. James will detail any of the information, paperwork, things like that on the website on this one. It's always been pulled out the garage and MOT'd as well, which is nice. The mileage is really good on this as well. We'll go straight there now. We'll show you the mileage. See there, it's showing 12,845. If you, you know, anyone, anyone can access that if you go on the on the DVD website there, it shows you all that and how many miles it's done in the past few years. Like I say, the father bought it and ordered it brand new in 1998. Fortunately, he passed away and it was given to the daughter. She just wants it to go to the right home and that's why it's here. Like I say, we've got all the wet weather gear for it, even the Lotus umbrella, that's still there. The Lotus Caterham umbrella, the Caterham umbrella is still green, in, in the back there, in the boot there, it's still there, comes with the vehicle as well. So all that sort of attention to detail is still there with this one. Right, body weight wise, we're going to start off the nose cane, cone, work our way straight up the bonnet. Lovely and fresh up there, lovely and shiny. It is primrose, I know the camera makes it look slightly more yellow. It's a very, very soft yellow, absolutely gorgeous colours. Around the nose cone there, I've got a few little stone chips. And that's how harsh you've got to be in a car in this condition few little stone chips it's never had a hard life this one always been looked after lovely and fresh on the nose cone we've got no crazing or cracking at all on the nose cone up the bonnet it's as straight as you're going to find even around the pressing of the vents there's no pain cracking there at all the green stripes lovely and fresh no problems at all with that across the scotland around the windscreen lovely and fresh no issues there at all and i say it's a very very soft yellow the camera makes it be a little bit more yellow than it is it's a lovely, lovely colour. Down the bonnet edges, no paint chips, no flakes. Got a few little sort of pressing dents there, which is standard in the Ali bonnet. Lovely and fresh down there. Lamp bezels, unmarked. Indicators as clean as you're going to find. You can see all the suspension components there. You can see all the Bilsteins, no problems there. Even the backs of the wheels, how clean all that is on the left hand side. And again, same condition on the right hand side. To be very, very critical, the has one or two few little stone chips, but that's all on the front there. Again, lamp bezels are lovely, no pitting to those. It's never seen a wet day, this one. Around the arches, normally get some cracking where they're screwed on. Not the case with this one, once again. No cracking at all to the plastic or the fiberglass arches. No cracking at all around there. A little bit of a scratch there, again. That's how harsh you've got to be to find fault. Wheels are unmarked all the way around. Trying to see what tyres we've got. Mitchins on there. Mitchins all the way around on unmarked alloys with the fifth spare wheel unmarked. Yeah. Down the left hand, uh, right hand side of the bonnet again. Absolutely gorgeous. Tiny, tiny little chip there. This is how harsh you've got to make the fine fault once again. Lovely and straight on the lower half section. I'll try and put the camera underneath. She so can have a look at that there. Come down the bottom. A few little stone chips on the bottom edge there. Lovely and fresh down the side panels, no dings, no dents. As we come down the side onto the wing mirrors, and again, a few little stone chips, a tiny little bit of crazy on that wing mirror, and that's all to complain about. Windows are crystal clear on those doors. We'll open the door so we can have a look behind there at the bodywork as well. James is going to lift that off for us. Lovely and fresh down there. Got a tiny little chip and bleb down on the bottom corner where it meets the arch, and another tiny little bit just underneath that aluminium trim. 
as we come round, you've got your alley plate there doing its job, protecting that from any stone chips. We're going to come round that arch and again, no crazing to the fiberglass, no cracking at all there. Lovely and fresh, no scuffs around the arch. As straight as you're ever going to find one that. Again, unmarked wheel on the rear, no curbs at all to that. As we come round, the rear lights are crystal clear all the way around on this one. Matching fifth wheel, like I said, unmarked again. No marks around the fuel filler cap as you come down the body. Got a tiny little bit of alley rash there, just starting. Hardly noticeable, your nose has got to be sort of be touching it to notice that. And that's on the right hand side rear where the arch meets the body itself. I'll put the camera underneath there at the back. So we're going to have a good look at that there. Around onto the left hand side, again same place on the left hand side. No cracking or crazing once again to that rear wheel arch. Few little stone chips but that is all. And again unmarked wheel. No problems at all with that there. We're going to lift this door off as well so we can have a look. Simply just lift off on two pins, it doesn't come easier than that. Lovely and tidy on the left hand side all the way down there. Even the heat shield on the exhaust hasn't got any nasty marks on it. Tiny little bit just below the exhaust hanger. And another tiny little bit on the left hand side, sort of a stone ship. Even the exhaust is as new as you're going to find really on that mileage on that year. Clearly never ever been out in the wet this one. You can see how fresh that is. Onto the front arch. Tiny little mark there on the left hand side. And again that's how harsh you've got to be to find fault when a car is in this condition. No crazing or cracking once again to the front wheel arch there. On to the interior now. Black Caterham seats, headrests are lovely. As you come down the seat, we've got perfect amount of wear for the year and the mileage, all nice and tidy. The odd very light scratch, the seat itself, and a few little scratches there off your shoes where you jump in and out. But no rips or tears, lovely and soft. It's a very, very comfortable car to sit in. Steel wheel is in lovely condition. The dashboard is unmarked all the way across. All the dials are crystal clear. Gear stick all nice and tidy. Down the centre console on your armrest there. No issues at all with that. Lovely, clean, black mat. Not much wear at all to the heel pads. Like I said, we've got all the wet weather gear and your little boot tunnel there. Even the powder coat on your rollover bar. It's lovely and clean and fresh. On to the left-hand side now again. Seat. No rips or tears at all to the seat. A few little light scratches on it. But a nice place to be sat that. Really is. Lovely and fresh in there. You can see all the way down to the bottom to your footrest. Into the engine bay. Condition is the same throughout in the engine bay. Lovely and clean and tidy in there. James is going to fire it into life for us here. It's on the button that brother. On the, on the key. Horn works so that's always good. Ticking over nice and happy, it didn't need any throttle, James didn't have to get him to start it. It fires straight up, there's nothing nasty coming out the exhaust there. It's ticking over, lovely and happy there. And there you have it, the 1998 on the S. Catrum Super 7 in Primrose with a racing green, British green stripe and nose cone. Check the website out for all the details that I say to two owner cars, so that's one family owned from you, father then daughter. We've got all the wet weather gear here and the tonneau and the door still in the bag without the windows on. All the bits are here for this one, ready to be enjoyed. Looking for a very, very good home this one is.